Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to um, another unboxing video. Um, I apologize that uh, <laughs> this might not seem like uh, anything, but uh, I wasn't feeling well. I've had my box, probably I, I think I received it, was it Wednesday or Thursday last week? And today is Wednesday uh, the 14th. Um, June 14th so um, I would have uploaded it <laughs> I like um, would have uploaded about you know about five days ago when I got it um, but I just wasn't feeling good so I, I've been patiently waiting <laughs> to try to wait and um, film <laughs> my first impressions and everything of the box um, but I was just like I've been staring at it, <laughs> but I've been excited to open it. Um, but before I, uh, like, kind of got sick, I was able to film the Bounty box and the Roots box, and I enjoyed both of them this month. The Bounty was the heartbeat of the sea with the beautiful like shell pendant. First time to get like a uh, ocean ocean vibes like pendant like that. Um, and then the Roots box was a theme of a time of angels. And that was really pretty. The smells in there are beautiful. Um, and yeah, so I figured I'd kind of like recap <laughs> all the witch's moon things. And um, this was what was in the box last month. Um, and I was thinking about using this for a litha spell um, intention like spell intention setting um and it was like we received the necklace and like a little spell bag lots of um tree magic like in, uh in like that box but this was i realized um when i was looking back at some of the paperwork this was something beautiful, and I've been using this. I like whooped this back out because this was sitting. I had this in the box um, that it came in for a little while because I didn't want to. Because I was like using it, and then I put it back, and then I was using it, and then I put it back. Now I'm using it again, um, and I'm making crystal um, charged water. But this was this was we received this in May's box of 2021, I believe it was. This was such a cool box, Alchemist. <laughs> um, this was such a beautiful box. Uh, I didn't record unboxing that box um, back then, but yeah, and I have that sitting on a little selenite charging disc. And I'm gonna be making candles, which I'm like excited to be doing. Um, and I'll be like showing that in a video. But um, yeah, so I believe that the theme was um, something with the Druid's Path, um, and I really love the Witch's Moon box, it's usually, like, centered around learning about something, and then there's usually, like, a candle, spell, ritual, and you're able to use the bigger items around the candle spell, um, which is, like, cool. Yeah, so, and I think I, um, Someone asked like what the room, what the uh, symbols were around the box, and they're actually witches' runes, the thirteen witches' runes. So um, I wanted to like mention that too. And the boxes are cool to keep um, for spell workings and stuff, or putting away for um, like what you want to use for each Sabbath. Um, so I've done that <laughs> since I have so many of them. But, um, so look how beautiful it looks like in the box. Um, I always love keeping these ties. Um, I love saving my oracle for last. And then I love that they always um, give a, the last sheet of the ledger is always a piece of blank parchment to use in the ritual for, um, that's within this box, the spell workings, 
reflecting on the oracle card, um, different ways to use it. Um, so I think that's cool, um, just to be able to read like those three things. <clears throat> so uh, here is the theme, the Druid Edition, Entering the Sacred Grove. Okay, and it says, as we walk through Along the forest path, the sounds of rustling leaves and singing birds fill the air. The wind gently animates each branch among the towering oaks, almost as if the giants were letting us know that they were aware of our presence. As we come to the standing stone amidst the grove, we can hear the running water passing through the nearby stream. We have arrived, we are, or excuse me, where the brilliant sun blesses us, following through us to center, following, or excuse me, flowing through us to the center of the earth. Our ritual can now begin. How beautiful is that? Um, we are overwhelmingly connected with a very special collection, full of unique and charming tools that were curated to bring you closer to the spirit of nature and deep wisdom that can be found within the energy that flourishes there. Join us in June as we walk the druid path towards fulfillment and understanding. The magical items in this box are as follows. So, it's beautiful. We have um, two small artwork pieces. Um, I'm excited. Like this gives me um, opening the grove by John Michael Greer. It's like such beautiful vibes. Um, opening the grove, and I love the sigil for it. Like I can kind of see. I've seen this like symbol somewhere, this like the rays of three. Um, but yeah, it reminds me of the uh, November box with the Yigastril. I'm getting like that vibe. Like I love how they did that box. Um, and I love when they do crystal correspondence pages too. A black lava stone. Hardness is a four to a six and a half. Element, fire, and earth. Um, actually, I'm starting to put... Um, I just cut off all the borders <laughs> on all the crystal pages I have. I'm trying to put those in my little grimoire now, or BOS site. Um, I've made from all the Witch's Moon artwork pieces, the like 5x7 ones at least. Um, the Magical Beings. Horus, Loki, Pele, Prometheus, Ray, Vesta, Vulcan, and Wajet. It's beautiful. Let's see. And here's, um, I love the purple. Purple vibes. It's like I can smell smell the lavender <laughs> like <laughs> but um so these are and then we have our big artwork sheet and here's what our box looks like beautifully done on the ledger um the black lava stone book of shadows artwork is the fourth item this is, um, was created for this very collection, providing a variety of correspondences associated with the Black Lava Stone. And then they included it to include it within our BOS. <laughs> um, and then it was right with usually the, um, small artwork accompanies the candle. Um, because the candle's above. The opening the grove prayer ritual, Book of Shadows artwork is the fifth or sixth item. 
To accompany your opening the grove spell candle, we have included the corresponding prayer that can be used during this ritual. We recommend reciting or singing this during your ritual while alone so that you're able to harness magical intent and foster a stronger sense of connection with your personal awen. The sigil on the artwork was created with the three rays of light as well as the word nif nifri, if I'm saying that correctly, um, or awen. Please feel free to create or recreate or place the sigil where you feel the energy is needed most. And then written by or John Michael Greer, sigil created by G. Ibis and illustrated by the beloved E. E. Alden. Magical page. Lots of energy in this page. <laughs> but um, and then this is the third item is the Druidry page. Which is, this is gorgeous. I love the two of them standing with each other. Um, I've always loved the harp. Like, um, I've always wanted to learn how to play. A beautiful um, instrument and the sickle is pretty but um, if you'd like to pause to read on this page and oh actually no this is the second item on the ledger sorry under the big item the Drew G book of artwork book of shadows artwork um, we have created this piece of artwork to honor Druidry. This beautiful addition to your BOS includes a brief description of the history and ideals of ancient and modern Druidry. Keep this artwork within your BOS or place on your altar for display. Artwork by the beloved A.E. Alden, not for resale, do not make copies, of course. So we have our artwork pieces. I'm gonna just kind of put them here. I'm gonna put this to the side. I'm just gonna grab what's on the top. So I see these two, which I love. Um, they've been like including herbal blends. It's like my favorite. <laughs> Um, we have the Druid Vision Herbal Blend there, and I love that they've been doing the stickers, like, so pretty. And the Golden Sickle. Oh, look, look, I just noticed. It's like both their vibes, or he has the sickle, and he's over there. <laughs> but, uh, I love how they do that, like, just, like, um, everything ties together in the box. These are pretty. Looks like there's jasmines in this one. And it smells like maybe peppermint leaf. And I don't know what's in this one. But it looks like almost um, mistletoe, maybe? Because I was working with mistletoe because in mid midsummer they pull um, mistletoe from the tree. Um, so it doesn't go bad or I forget what the story is, but um, so I put that in like I make a selenite bowl and I charge it and I make an herbal blend during the full moon and um, From all their herb bags that we get from the roots boxes um, and in the moon box um, and, and then herbs I just have in general, but you know, I I really built an apothecary from just being subscribed to them Uh and then I put them in my tea lights at night, every night. But I'll do intention setting um, for what the herbs, you know, what, why I put the herbs together. But this is really cool. Um, so this is the 11th and 12th item in the box. The golden sickle is the 11th item. I don't know why it's so shadowy. Mm -hmm. Is that better? Is that better? Is that 
still, it's still like dark, kind of. Why am I like seeing things? <laughs> um, hmm. I think it's still, I think it should be fine. No. Okay. The Golden Sickle Ritual Herbal Blend, external use only. Um, the Ritual Herbal Blend has been created with the intention of providing a deep connection with the natural surroundings, or excuse me, to your natural surroundings. This blend can be placed on your altar, included within other blends and elixirs, or incorporated into magical pouches and spell and bags. <laughs> I was going to say spell bags. Um, the herbs included within this blend are as follows, and then they have um, smaller Roman numerals, um, and then they have the correspondences to the herbs that are in here, which is cool. I love when they do that. So there's mistletoe, it was right with that, vervain, vervain and clover in this one. The golden sickle one, yeah. I didn't really see clover in this one. I guess, yeah, right here are the dark pieces. <laughs> I have like my tripod on a pillow. <laughs> so it's like, it's looking down kind of, you know? <laughs> but, um, <clears throat> yeah, I don't see like very, um, tiny. That's like my favorite way of like, Grinding it when it looks like that, <laughs> putting it in the tea light. Um, but it will show the corresponding pages. Uh, there, this one it says about the Druid Vision Herbal Blend. Um, this ritual herbal blend has been created with the intention of supporting your divinatory and observational rituals. That's cool. I've been, I bought Jasmine from their shop because it was hard to find, um, and they charge all their herbs under the previous full moon, so when we get it, um, so I, I feel like their herbs are, it's like, have an extra, like, magic to them, and then who's providing them, you know? Uh, let me see if I can, like, is that better, the lighting? <laughs> I think that's better. Yeah, <laughs> I think that's better. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Uh, the altar includes, or excuse me, this blend can be included within the incense blends placed upon the altar, included within blends and elixirs, or incorporated in magical spell. I want to say spells, magical pouches and bags. Um, the herbs included within this blend are as follows. Mugwort, peppermint, and jasmine. Okay. That's pretty. I've been, I kind of, that's what's in kind of in my bowl, but there's orange peel, lemon balm, calendula, but jasmine, peppermint leaf, mugwort, and mistletoe. <laughs> is what I have in my bowl. And I think maybe one more thing. But um, here's what it says about um, the two. And then there's the parchment paper with the personalized oracle reading as well. <laughs> from before. I'm excited for these. I'd burn them if I wasn't on my bed. Um, the Palo Santo Copal Ritual Incense. Which these are really cool. They look like little little doobies or something <laughs> um that's interesting they put the, the stick like usual and then they rolled them i love palo santo santio and i love copal too i love the tree it's so beautiful 
I'm excited for these. I hope they put more of these in their shop. But it says about, this is the ninth item on the ledger, Palo Santio and Copal Ritual Incense Sticks. We have included a very special set of incense within this collection, hand rolled and fragrant. As you allow the smoke to waft throughout your sacred space, take the time, let go, recharge, and connect. Please note this incense creates a large amount of smoke. You may want to use this several times as burning time is longer. Um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm really excited for those. Their oils this month have been like really bomb. I love the Ritual Aura Spray that was in the Roots box too. That's been like really um, refreshing. Um, we have the Tree Guide um, Magical Anointing Oil. See if we can see. Any herbies? Not really. Not, <laughs> not in the LED lighting. But. It kind of looks like there's. Like some type of sage or something pretty is in there. It's like a sniff. Oh, that smells so good. That smells like <laughs> I feel like accomplishment. The word accomplishment popped up in my mind. Like I love. It's so crazy because it smells like an Andy's like mint. Or some like a um not Andy's mint but the mint chocolate like bar that you get from Olive Garden. I love um mint chocolate things like mint chocolate chip um or mint like cookies and cream is like so <laughs> that's what this smells like and like when I say accomplishment it, like makes me think of like sitting down relaxing enjoying like. <laughs> like a long day of work or something you come home and you're just like want that ice cream and oh that smells so good this is like my i don't know this this one like overrides the bounty box i was like in the crystal cave in the bounty box but this smells this smells so good <laughs> that smells so yummy What's inside you? Let's see. Um, it says about the magical anointing oil, or excuse me, we have created this magical anointing oil with the intention of helping you during your moments of observation. In addition, this oil is a source of connection with the natural world that surrounds you. We recommend using this oil before or during meditation as well as to bolster the earth energies that meet the sun during this time. We have enhanced, or excuse me, enchanted, <laughs> wait, I feel enhanced from smelling it. <laughs> um, in, we have enchanted this magical anointing oil with the oils of sage, green tea, there it is, amber, sandalwood, cedarwood, and palo santo. I, I usually say Palo Santio, but I realize I'm, I don't think I'm saying it right after all these years. But that's how I say it, so <laughs> I'm just going to just go with the flow. Um, in addition, we have included vervan, peppermint, and mugwort herbs within the blend. Inside your oil, we will find a quartz crystal chip set to personify unity with the divine. It's beautiful. And then they've also included a special mixture of the guided meditation magic oil from their personal cabinet of witchery. And I love that they use the oil of sunflower, the base oil of their oil is sunflower oil, which sunflowers mean so much to me. So um, they have such a beautiful memory in my mind. Um, I just, I love where like this box can take me um, for memories and means so much. 
um, the rise of Awen. This is beautiful. Last month, my salts, um, this is the first time that they actually sealed the, <laughs> it's usually like that they, um, I can open it, but they really sealed it this month. <laughs> um, because my salts leaked last month. I miss them putting it, them in a jar though, because they were, um, easier to store, but I guess it's probably, um, more cost, cost efficient to do these. But I, you know, you could reuse the jars, is what like I see, where I take off the sticker and write about the salt and like what I experienced in the baths. Um, that's kind of what I do with the salt packets like this. This is the um, five, six, seven, the eighth item, the rent, the rise of Awen, sacred salts. Um, they were formulated to bring you in alignment with your own personal Awen. As written, and it looks like the big item, there's a quote, um, this is a vital stage of the process as it leaves room for new points of view and understanding. Allow your inner chatter to slowly stop cluttering your emotions as you resonate with the earthly ingredients of this sacred salt. Take the time to ponder and connect we recommend recording your experiences or revelations after this ritual for future references and connection. We have enchanted the salt with cedarwood, pine, sage, green tea, oils, cells, lavender, warm wormwood, and sage herbs. So it's going to somewhat smell like that tree guide, which I really hope is... I can kind of smell it outside of the package and... It smells really good. Mm. It doesn't have the peppermint though, right? Yeah, that's why. It smells the sweetness. It's the green tea. Green tea has like this like pretty musk about it. White tea smells like a French like vanilla musk almost to me. So green tea like there's like a pretty like florally smell to it. It's pretty. Um, I'm just, I'm excited for these, but so let's go, let's keep going. Um, so we have four items left. I'm excited to see. It's so funny, I was, I just, I was going to buy some more things from their shop because they added some more things to the shop. <clears throat> and I was going to buy a geode from them because, um, in my first box, I received from them. I received the Head Witch's Field Guide. It was like their February box, I realize now, um, of 2021, I think. And uh, they included a little geode in it. It was so pretty. But here it is. They have it pretty and wrapped, pre broken. So it's like um, if you were to get a geode, wrapping it with the rubber band and then like doing a slight tap. And like putting it in like a sock or something old sock or an old rag so it can catch you know anything small but do a light tap um looks like they looks like it broke perfectly on this top right here it feels pretty dense little <laughs> rattle and it's so funny, I was like, I whipped out the geode and the bounty, um, but look how beautiful. So this is almost like um, the petroleoleoleol, <laughs> it's kind of like um, the little joke in my house um, about uh, like the grape agate kind of like formation would be kind of be a familiar way of describing it. How beautiful is that? There's a little piece in there. Okay. Looks like a little piece. Um, is in there. We got a flashlight. How pretty is that? Oh, 
Ooh, and look at the bottom. There's like a, um... A little clear quartz, like a Finden quartz piece. That's beautiful. I was thinking about getting like a um, couple pounds of geodes to open, <laughs> so it'd be fun to do. Um, that's beautifully done. I love geodes. I love that they're, um, I think they're kind of an underrated quartz species. Um, they're so beautiful. I love that little... I love the variation in there. Um, that's beautiful. So let's read about the geode. I will keep the light on it. I'm trying to keep the light on it. So this is the tenth item: geode pre-cut crystal. We are thrilled to have the opportunity to include a pre-cut geode within your box. The small treasures always provide us. Um, with, ra with a radiant surprise. What a wonderful metaphor to see a stone look insignificant on the outside, but when open, provides a doorway to another world. In addition to its base energies of positivity, this stone provides immediate regulation to any emotional or energetic disorder, allowing you to think more clearly, act more resolutely and stay connected to your purpose and rituals without feeling antsy in quotes. <laughs> but yeah, that's so pretty. And um, because like bitrolial growth is um, more dense, you can feel that and that's like so pretty. Sorry, I was looking over the camera. But you can just see it inside. It looks like that's another piece. But you can see it's like thick in there. It looks like almost like a, um, a sea anemone or something. It looks like um, with the, how the coloring is. And it looks like um, soft and matte. piece that came out. Um, it's so pretty. And then, um, now I have three more items, two big items, and then a candle. I feel like we got a lot of goodies this month in our box. all over the, over the place. So, there's the candle. I think it's going to be a green one or a pretty brown one. We got brown last month. So, probably green. That's pretty green. This smells good too. Um, our candle. Pretty emerald green color. Um, so this goes with our with the um, prayer, opening the growth prayer. Um, the hand rolled opening the grove anointed spell candle. Um, we have hand rolled this opening the grove spell candle with the purpose of including it within your opening the grove ritual or simply to use during your practice as a representation of fire and earth. More regarding this ritual of the druid grove can be found within the 
um, before you begin, you can create the energy that surrounds you. This can include cleaning, cleansing, and setting the tone for the purpose ritual. We always recommend being comfortable with your space so that you may speak clearly out loud, preferably sing, and he sing enhancing your internal energy. Allow the natural ingredients from this candle to direct intentions into the universal consciousness. While this flame dances before you, let go of the preconceived judgments and speculations. Release any anxiety or fear that you may have during this time. The spell has been anointed with the oils of cedarwood, sandalwood, cypress, and pine. Beautiful. And then we have um, something in bubble wrap. What's this? <laughs> Um, this in February's box this um, month or I mean this month this year and um, we received the onyx um, an onyx candle holder mine was kind of relatively small compared to the ones that I saw other people get it was kind of like an egg shape actually I, I use I just burned a candle in it one of theirs it was a black candle um <laughs> here it is so i like that they did um uh like you know it's like solar and lunar vibes solar i guess with the black stone and lunar with the onyx um and they have a little drug um uh, dragon's blood <laughs> it was dragon's blood combined in one word um uh, incense cone burning in there, so that's what that mess is. But that was one of their shorter candles. That's what I ended up burning. Look like, um, and I put herbs around it. And I guess at the bottom of the wax, probably will be found the herbs when I take that out. But that's pretty. Um, put the candle in. But it, it's light but very grounding at the same time. So this is the third item. And then beautifully done is we have um, corresponding artwork to go with the lava stone. So um, the exclusively crafted black lava stone candle holder. We are so excited to include this custom created black lava stone candle holder, especially crafted for this very collection. Um, we have made the opening of this stone as large as we could to ensure that we, or excuse me, that you will be able to use it with the most spell candles you choose. This black lava stone can be placed upon your altar to represent earth or fire. Um, the stone is cooled volcano lava cooled rapidly by a sudden temperature change such as exposure to water the high concentrations of iron and magnesium give this lava rock its char dark charcoal color as wonderfully porous stone black lava stone is known to bring or excuse me for being crafted into beads as a tool for absorbing essential oils Within your practice, you can, in quotes, feed the stone with oils or water elixirs. Black lava stone builds a deep connection with the Mother Earth, providing a sense of calm relief. This mystical stone also repels negativity and provides courage during times of unease and uncertainty. For the purpose of Druidry, this wonderful stone represents both the sun and earth and can provide you with the energies of the two current elemental associations is fire and earth and celestial a celestial association is sun and earth so that's beautiful i wonder like putting some of this in the oil
That smell just takes me back to my childhood, like rubbing it, rubbing it on and stuff. And it smells so good in the stone. <laughs> That's like, I never really thought about doing a candle a black like lava stone candle holder and that's that's cool um i like that <laughs> uh, combo try to show everything <laughs> and then last but not least is we have <laughs> i love the name wrap um wrap thing beautifully The Druid Path. How pretty is that? Um, A Modern Tradition of Nature Spirituality by John Michael Greer. So, that's like the whole, it's pretty. You know, just, <clears throat> that's where I saw it. I was just using the little spell cards. Have like a cute little cigar box um, with the making magic. Here it is. <clears throat> Ow and three rays of light, balancing male and female energies, peace and harmony. So that's like a cool art. Um, I was thinking about getting the bigger deck um because they're like the or circle or oracle cards and i love that she has like um like they're almost like spell cards which i really love spell cards um which is funny because like i think it's by the same author that did the may's box or no not may um was it march april i received um I was uh, just working with it. Um, right here. How pretty is the side with the green man? Um, join the quest for ancient wisdom and harmony with nature on the druid path. So I don't know much about druidry, um, and I know pretty. I know. Um, Good amount of like uh, different um, pathways, <clears throat> but um, spiritual pathways. This one I'm not too familiar with, um, but they also available in the modern day witch series. Okay, Wikipedia, The Good Witch's Guide. Wikipedia spell deck, there it is, and psychic witch or spellcraft, Wiccan kitchen. Oh, how pretty is the back? <laughs> oh, and pretty with the notes to take. Ooh, <laughs> she's so cute. I just saw her on the last page. <laughs> contents. Contents part one, part two, part three, and part four. A ritual for self-initiation, preparing your initiation. Divination, ritual, meditation, observation. The three rays. The two currents, the one life, the four elements. That sounds so beautiful. Oh, look, it's them again. <laughs> the artwork just, like, goes around. <laughs> How beautiful is that? Yeah, I'm 
excited to, there it is about the mistletoe. When the oak, when an oak with mistletoe growing on it is discovered, druids dress it or dress in white robes would come and harvest on the sixth day after the new moon. Um, once it was harvested, two bullocks would be sacrificed in the Celt to the Celtic gods. Mm, that's exactly what I was... Um, I don't really see... see it in that one uh, about Midsommar being the time they picked it so I think it was the the druids that did that because it was the white in the white robe I remember that being part of the story so that's so funny that I did that and that's like in this um, so I'm on the right path I guess <laughs> but um yeah I'm so interested to like if anyone knows about the druid path I'd like to share about it. Um, that'd be beautiful. <clears throat> so, um, here is... Um, I'll just read the end of it. Um, they wanted to include the book to have the opportunity to share with you. It says... <clears throat> I'll just read what it says. Um, we must say that we have read every word in this beautiful book and are so thrilled that we have the opportunity to share it with you. Besides with the bounty of information regarding to the origins, lore, and purpose of ancient and modern druidry, John and Michael Greer takes us along all the observations, meditations, and rituals leading us to the solitary initiation into the nature, wisdom, path. John Michael Greer, born 1962, is an American author and druid writing on ecology, druidry, and magic, and the occult. And he was also part of the Freemasonry and the Hermetic Order, the Golden Dawn. Um, it's more about him and then into it. Um, the wonderful application of these practices can be relevant for everyone even those that are surrounded by concrete structures and industry, after learning the divinatory practices of the Colbrin, John provides a powerful set of rituals that can be performed with minimal supplies, allowing us to connect and call upon the elemental embodiments. To conclude, we are pro provided with an in-depth ritual into initiation. One of the highlights of these practices for us is the ritual of the Druid Grove, where you are able to meet the legends and guides that are sure to support you on your journey. We truly hope that this book brings you as much joy, information, and practical application that it has for us. Even without initiation, these simple yet profound rituals can be can bring a renewal or excuse me a renewed sense of connection to nature and the wisdom that resides there so that's beautiful <clears throat> and then it just says at the end we are truly urge you to explore your connections with druidry and to learn to work with the spirit of nature on a deeper and more profound levels may your rituals be performed with beauty and light blessed be the witch's moon of June 2023, entering the sacred grove. That's beautiful. And then my oracle card is number 42. I love the green and purple magenta pink energies. Um, sacred, mo sacred Earth Mother, a message of love. I, guess I kind of feel that in this. Uh, I felt like loving vibes in this box when I smelled the oil. Taking back to like family memories was such a beautiful thing. <clears throat> While opening this. And um, this was the Gaia Oracle by Tony Carmine Solano. Solano. 
Celerano, Sal Sal <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> um, this card in the Synchronicity said it holds are meant for you. Take the time to reflect the wisdom that I'm that may lay hidden within its message, let it resonate with you and speak to the pressing realities in your world. And then they even said about the page, for the specific set of items, we recommend recording your experiences with the rituals included within the Druid path. So writing down about your experiences. But yeah, this was beautifully done. I really enjoyed um, this month's box. Here is the whole paragraph about the book. It goes into the four stages of um, the druid tree. That was like in the first chapter of the book. And then here's about um, everything that was in the box. So yeah, I'd love to know how did you feel about this box? If you watched all the way through, please leave a green, um, a green heart at the bottom, um, because I am going to be doing like a low key giveaway, and um, of just a few things. I think um, I don't know how I'm going to really do it yet, but um, just something small, <laughs> just to say thank you for watching, and. Um, yeah, just um, look out for the end of my videos. Um, thank you so much if you stayed all the way through. And um, thank you so much for hanging out with me. And um, yeah, I loved this box. It was beautifully done. Um, the smells and everything was, was gorgeous. I loved the, <laughs> the geode and everything, the candle holder, the book. The art was gorgeous. Um, I'm just excited to work with everything. The herbal blends. I'm excited to burn that um, incense sticks too. And I love that they paired um, the incense, or excuse me, the candle holders to have like, you know, to have two of them. Cause that was kind of what was putting me off with using this one. So as much as I was, you know, I'm gonna use it now is cause I wanted to have two of them. <laughs> um, cause I always like to work with two candles uh, for duality purposes. Um, so I always love that. But uh, yeah, thank you so much for hanging out with me, and um, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Please stay safe out there, <laughs> and um, yeah, much love and light. Bye, guys.